Hey guys, I was posed the question a few years ago, and the question was this. Greg, do you have a life verse? I'm thinking, no. Didn't know I needed one. And well, this person challenged me to have a life verse. So I prayed, I'm like, Lord, what life verse do you wanna give me, Lord? So I just kinda of going through the Bible, and then it was wham. I landed on James chapter one, verse two through four, and I'm gonna read that for you. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. And I thought that was an interesting verse that God would give me. It just seemed weird. But I can tell you through the years I have banked on that verse and that has radically changed my maturity level. Now I wanna break this verse down for you. In the beginning it says, consider it pure joy. You know, it's talking about trials. Well, who in the world would consider trials joy? Nobody, right? But it's what's coming from the trials, that how it's changing you and making you mature. So I'm gonna keep on going. It says after that, it says, you know that because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Well, now the testing of your faith. So that means you have to be actually in faith rocking moments because you need your faith tested to see, is your faith genuine or is it just lip service? You know, we call ourselves Christians. You know, we say we trust you, Lord, but is that actually true? It really, the way you find that out is through the trials and the testing that you have to go through. And I'm gonna keep going. The testing of your faith develops perseverance. So perseverance is actually building your faith muscle. I remember, you know, when I was an early Christian, things that used to just rock my world. Now I don't even bat an eyelash at it because of the perseverance that I've built up, the trials the Lord has allowed me to face. Now I, I look at things that for some people that seem to be big trials to me are not anymore because I've already been through it. And I know the Lord has even more trials in the future to continue to build up that faith muscle of mine. Okay, and then next it says, perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. You see, in order to be mature, we have to go through these trials, which builds up perseverance. So to be spiritually mature, we have to face all of this that's happening. That's why in the beginning, it, it, you know, James is saying, hey, consider it pure joy when you're facing these trials because of the outcome that's coming from all of this. And then it says at the end, it says, mature and complete, not lacking anything. That means you're, you're complete. You've got it. You've got, you've got it down, you know, not lacking anything, that you've got this completed. You're understanding, you know, you need to face this stuff and that, that good comes from it. So in finishing and ending all of this, this is what I love. I quote Romans 8, 28 which is beautiful. It says, for all things work for the good of those who love him or are called according to his purpose. Not some things, all things work for the good of those who love him, Jesus, and who are called according to his purpose. That God uses all of the trials that we go through, not only to build our character, but to use it for his glory. So here's the great news. Trials are necessary for our spiritual maturity, and God uses it for His glory. That's the beautiful part about it. Hey guys, thank you for joining me for this devotional. Take care and God bless.